Alright guys, so today we're starting off doing some chest and we're going to do some dumbbell bench press to start with. You know, you want to start off light, get your, everything warmed up and come down slow and squeeze at the top. Really, when you're doing bench press, it's about elbow placement, where your elbows are guiding the rep and try to keep the elbows, you know, not flared out too much, just control your elbows and bring the weight up nice and slowly squeezing at the top trying to use the pectoral muscle only rather than slinging weights and you know using joints and all that even though your elbows are in play they're just more of a guiding a guiding technique and you're gonna really feel it in your chest I was doing incline here and um, I think that's the best angle for the chest flat is, is good as well but the incline is just a different dimension. Alright, looks like we're jumping over to the hammer strength press here. In the beginning of the workout, I wanted to do, to do a lot of presses to really just get everything warm and shock the muscle, so, so to speak. On these hammer strengths, it's good to not lock out because that'll keep the pressure on your chest when you're not locked out and I'm doing one plate here to warm up but sometimes I do two plate or two warm, two warm up sets with one plate because I really want to get blood in the muscle it's not about weight it's more about re re repetitions and it's more about just feeling it, feeling it out after that I did one of my favorites here it's a uh, dumbbell pullover on the flat bench this is the best thing for upper chest in my opinion and once you try it you're gonna fall in love with it see I have both hands on the dumbbell equally on each side and really just let the dumbbell come a little bit past your head you don't got to go all the way down that's just to save your shoulders here and actually that's the whole motion there just a little bit past the head and bringing it up to about face level and when you do this, imagine just squeezing the pe top of the pec together, um, trying to get them to touch. That helps just the mental aspect of it. And uh, you're going to feel it. I do about 12 to 15 reps. Sometimes I'll even do 20 reps with a little bit lighter weight. This will get you a big pump in the beginning of your workout. The thing about the, the the leg placement there, just have your shoulder blades on the bench and support yourself with your legs. Nice and easy guys. Alright, back to the hammer strength and you know I wanted to top off the upper chest again. And this is me sitting sideways on the on the hammer strength press, doing a one arm press. This one is good, just it's all about elbow placement when you're doing presses, so you know, keep that elbow a little bit high towards the shoulder to get a straight angle and then push out. Not having to lock out all the way will keep the tension on the chest. You know, I just have a 10 on here and that's really a good weight for me. I do about 20 reps and um, with the 10 I can just control the weight totally and it's, it's a good feeling to me. I'm not one of these guys, you know, lifting for ego. I don't really need a lot of weight. I do like to lift heavy on some things, but for these little auxiliary lifts and, you know, when I'm targeting a smaller muscle group, I go with lighter weight because it's not a big muscle group. The chest is, but when you're targeting upper chest, it's one portion of the chest, so you don't need tons of weight to just target a smaller portion of a muscle group. thing about lifting is when you're going through your reps you want to connect your mind with the muscle and that's what I'm doing here just feeling my body out and feeling the burn is what they say this one is great 
after that it looks like we jumped over to some cables we're gonna do some flies you know I did a lot of presses there now we're doing some flies sometimes I I split them up sometimes I do a press then a fly then a press then a fly this one's a classic for chests you know really step out with the cables to give some tension on the chest keep your shut your chest and your eyes up and just let it stretch you out and bring it down evenly both arms evenly as best as you can so one side of your chest isn't working harder than the other you know 10 12 or even 15 reps on this to really add definition to the chest and to add that bulky look I mean this is gonna round it out give it a good look All right, and it looks like we're gonna finish up here with some machine dips and sorry there's a storm outside if y'all heard that lightning but um there is a a way to do these you know free weight but I always opt for the machine because at this point in the workout I'm pretty toasted and I'm looking for just a good stretch to top off my pump and that lower chest area you know it, it's it's you don't want to get it too bulky you want to have a nice round look to the lower area of your chest so you know using the dip machine just allows you to control that area squeeze it out and rep it out that's what it's all about after this workout I'm gonna get a protein shake in with some carbs if you're looking for any supplements for your bodybuilding journey there's a link below this video be sure to click it and check out the supplements they'll help you out you know, to gain muscle and just to live a healthy lifestyle. Thanks a lot, y'all.